Hey guys, Jared here from Bowling RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Right here we do have our 2024 Transcend 265BH. It's the first 2024 Transcend we've had. Let's take a look at it. So on the front we have our electric tongue jack with our two 20 pound propane tanks. Right here is where we put your free battery once you pick it up from us with our rock guard right behind it. Through here we have our docking station with our first door to our pass-through storage. We have our battery disconnect, battery reader, and all of our water hookups with the pass-through access to run your hoses up from underneath. Back here we have our black tank flush. If you look underneath here, this is a tandem axle. It's going to help you a lot with towing this down the road. Last few things on this side, we do have our on-demand tank this hot water heater, great for families. And we also have our 30 amp service. Coming back here, we have our last bit of outdoor storage. Uh, a lot of space in here. We do have a motion sensing light and two outlets in there as well. Spare tire is mounted on the back and onto the side of the bumper. So if you want to, you can put a hitch bracket on for some extra storage, bring some coolers, bumper attached griddle, whatever you want. Yep. We do have our freshwater fill with our outdoor spray port right here. Located right next to one of the doors so you can rinse off your feet before you go inside your nice and clean camper. Up top we have our electric awning with our floodlights on the outside. Two marine grade outdoor speakers up top. Then we have an outdoor cable connection, two more outlets. So if you want to mount a TV outside, you can. Then let's head inside. All right, so back here, first thing you're gonna see, we do have our double bunks. Each bunk does have its own window with blackout curtains. To the left of that, we do have a closet, two cubbies underneath, and two drawers built into the steps. Each bunk is also gonna have its own privacy curtain. It's not just gonna be one big long one. So if some kid's sleeping up top, he wants to pull the curtain, he can. Bottom kid can leave it open. Underneath that, we have our jackknife sofa, two more drawers underneath, swinging over here. We have our U-shaped dinette, storage underneath both sides. We also have a nice big window on the slide out. Right next to the dinette, we do have our 12 volt refrigerator. Coming over to the kitchen area, we have a lot of counter space, a lot of storage throughout. We have our three burner cooktop with our microwave and our convection oven above that. Nice big stainless steel farm sink. All right, coming through here, we have a nice big bathroom. So we have the rectangular shower with the skylight, vent, uh, vent fan built in, toilet is in the corner, not shoved up against the wall, so you can actually sit on it without rubbing your knees. Medicine cabinet right up here. Sink, a lot of vanity space, some more storage down below, and a nice little spot for a trash can in the bathroom. Coming through here, we do have our queen bed with our overhead storage. His and hers cabinets on both sides. Both sides gets a drawer, two outlets, USB port, and a Type-C charger. Down below, we do have some under the bed storage on some lifts, and we have our TV backer on the wall. Yeah, and that's the Transcend 265BH. If you have any questions, give us a call at Bullion RV. That's for Jared.